In view of a humble Florentilian veteran, cast vicariously as both victim and villain by the vicissitudes of fate, this visage, no mere veneer of vanity, is a vestige of the fox populi now vacant, vanished. However, this valorous visitation of a bygone fixation stands to vivify and has vowed to vanquish these venal and virulent vermin, vanguarding vice and functioning the violently vicious and voracious violation of volition. The only verdict is vengeance, a vendetta held as a votive not in vain for the value and veracity of such shall one day vindicate the vigilant and the virtuous. <laughs> Verily, this visissoire's verbiage feels most verbose, so let me simply add that it is a very good honor to meet you, and you may call me the Well, now, truth be told, 2016 was a bad year for democracies in general, and the United States, the United Kingdom, and even Moldova in particular. To remind you of the fact that darker times have existed in democracies and that those times have passed, I'd like to deliver in front of you a speech that was delivered some 153 years ago by a Republican president by the name of Abraham Lincoln. Here I go. score and seven years ago our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are men on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives so that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain and that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people by the people for the people shall not perish from the earth. Thank you.